Hi, this is Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, where today I'm going to show you my pantry that I have in the basement. I do have one upstairs, but I have one in my basement that I'm going to show you. I have these shelves down here in my basement. When I actually moved here, uh, they were already here. Uh, I just, I stock a lot of things. Um, again, most of the package stuff my husband eats. I do not eat uh, them. I'm trying to eat food that is uh, has very little preservatives or none at all. Um, I used to have a food allergy uh, for the past, uh, well, it's been almost 14 years. Um, I was told I was allergic to corn. Uh, if when I would eat it, my throat would actually start to close up and it would be hard to swallow. Uh, I do carry an EpiPen with me. Um, and as of last year, my food allergist said he doesn't think I'm allergic to corn anymore. Uh, but I do not want to try corn to see if that is true. So I'm just still eating the way that I have been for the last well, now going on 15 years where I've cut out anything that really has any preservatives in it. Uh, or like I said, very, very minimal. I mean, if there's one in there, there's one. But usually I try to have no preservatives. I do not like to have any artificial flavoring or color. I want to have it in its most natural state ever. Um, so I do stock a lot. You see a lot of flour, a lot of sugar. I love to bake. I probably bake and cook more than the average person. Uh, I do make my own bread, been doing it for 14 years, but I use a bread machine. I have made it totally, you know, by scratch and baked it in the oven, but the bread machine sure does help. Um, I use a lot of these containers here. They have like a locking lid. There's one here, there's one here. Trying to get, uh, get my flour to be as fresh as possible because I'll store it. I usually try to have four of each different variety that I have on hand uh, and again with me stocking like this it makes it easier so I don't have to go to the store as much I mean if something's on sale and my husband eats it by golly I'm gonna buy at least three so then that way I don't have to go to my store as often uh, you know and it saves me time and it also saves me gas because I don't think many people like to go to the food store I mean as long as I can get everything I need, I don't mind it. But, I mean, I stock down there. I've got dish soap, uh, husband's M&M's. He likes those. <laughs> I haven't had M&M's in, oh gosh, it's been, like I said, it's been over 15, 16 years. Then my husband built me this shelf here, and I store all my, well, you can see toilet paper. I've got plastic wrap. I got tissues. That has really come in handy over my deep freezer. Uh, I do want to show you this. On my deep freezer, I have got this. This is actually contact paper. You can peel it up. I can, Let's see if I can peel it up just a little bit to show you. But there it is. It's contact paper, and it's white. And I just use a dry erase marker, and I write down everything that I have in my deep freezer. Because right now, I can open the deep freezer and show you. It's like a hot mess. But at least I know with uh, everything that's written here, I do have it. Uh, and I know I can go ahead and look for it. But yeah, I, I'm going to have to organize it better. But my deep freezer, yeah, looks like a hot mess. <sighs> I wish I could find more of these uh, baskets like this that I have in the deep freezer. But that's the original one. And when I looked on Amazon, I couldn't find one that would fit my freezer so I could organize it better. But like I said, this contact paper really does help. Um, I also have some contact paper on my fridge down in the basement. Um, like I said, I have a couple of freezers just to stock extra stuff. Uh, again, you know, when we grow something in the garden, I'm putting it away. I'm stocking it and we're enjoying green beans in the wintertime, you know, or we're enjoying pumpkin, you know, uh, in the wintertime. I actually freeze that as as well and i'll go and here's my canning room again these shelves were here at our house when we moved in 
and I've got a lot of green beans as you can see uh, this shelf right here is the one I just canned this year I canned 66 quarts of Blue Lake bush beans they are stringless and we really like those that usually last you know uh, through the whole year um, and I've got some left over from last year because last year I canned 180 nine quarts of beans I have my family that comes over and uh, I cook meals you know for all the holidays so I've got to have a lot on hand I also do homemade applesauce here where I go to an apple orchard and I can that as well I also can blackberry jelly that's for my um, uh, blackberries that I grow I like to have that on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches uh, my mother likes to eat it too as well um, and here's I have stewed tomatoes these are actually from last year stewed tomatoes and then there's the diced tomato I just ended up uh, putting on a video um, just well just uh, about a week ago about uh, the diced tomatoes about canning them I also do peach preserves that's like I said one of my favorites here's where I was talking about uh, my refrigerator here this is my refrigerator in the basement and I've written down what's in the refrigerator Sometimes I put like numbers by it. If there's no numbers, you know, I have very, very like one or what, uh, whatever. And then I try to erase it. It looks like I may have to put a new one up. It's just uh, the green marker for some odd reason is not erasing very well. But that keeps me in check so I know what's in my refrigerator. Don't really have that much in this fridge, but I do keep some extras down here. And that way I can come down here and get it and bring it upstairs again here's some more of my stocking and you probably think oh my goodness gracious that's a lot of toilet paper but when my husband goes to the store and gets the toilet paper uh you know we don't have to go to the store as often and i live uh kind of rural area uh and again to my major stores well for my major club stores it's a good 40, 45 minutes with traffic. Uh, and, uh, you know, my local store, I can get there within 15 minutes, but it's so pricey and expensive. You, I really have to stock up. And again, in the wintertime, I don't like to get out a lot. Um, you know, just because sometimes the roads out here, they don't really clean off the roads like they did where I used to live. Uh, it seems like they just, you know, when you are more semi-royal in the rural area, it just, you know, it seems like you're the last one that they clear off. So it can be difficult to get out in the snow. And I really don't want to have it delivered to my home and pay the extra money with it, all the prices that are so high. And here's some of my canning jars. Like I said, I have extras just in case, because at one time, I have filled them all. Here's another thing I stock a lot of, more than maybe most people would. Um, my friends and family, they give me their old egg carton uh, when they can, and I use it for our eggs to put in. I have purchased some in the past, but... Hey, it's always nice to get a free egg carton and save yourself some money. If you like what you saw today, please hit the subscribe button down below. This was Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead. I hope you have a good day.